Hey there, how you doing? Charlotte Winters here with selections for Saturday the 21st of May. But first a quick recap on Friday. A disappointed day, two plays, two nowhere uh, and a losing day. So that's enough about that really. Um, yeah, disappointing. So let's get on to selections for Saturday. So my selections for Saturday are, they have to be included in the 10 pence each way, lucky 63. You are also to include 50 pence win doubles and there's the doubles look 15 50 pence doubles and twenty five pence each way trebles. So let's get down to the selections. The first selection is Screaming Petrus at 7 to 2 in the 125 at Haydock, paying four places instead of three. This ran a decent race last time behind one of my recent winners. It led for a very long way in a much better race. I think it was a class three. Today is a class five, and I believe it will attempt to make all. If there's a bit of rain tomorrow at Hay Haydock, I'm not expecting a deluge overnight. But if there's a bit of rain, it could make coming from behind a little bit more difficult and actually favour those those um, up with the pace. Well, this one I'm expecting to lead or at least be prominent. So I think it's got a decent chance. It's not really, don't get me wrong, it's not really an each way prize. But I do think it's got a good chance of winning. The second selection is Safe Voyage at 9-1 to one in the 140 at York, paying four places instead of three. This horse made a decent reappearance. And then was disappointed next time. I think there was excuses. I, well, I don't want to say the ground was too soft because this this horse does like soft ground, but I just think it might not have just. I think it was, I think it just had a bad run. If I'm being honest. Well, the last couple of years, this horse has been rated around 114, and it actually won a Group Two race. And it's like, I know it's nine years old now, but it's. I think it's off a, off a decent mile now. It's, it's about 104. It's off. And I think it's off, yeah, as I say, I think it's off a decent mark. I think racing at York will suit it up with the pace. Ideally, well, possibly it needs a lead, but I really can't imagine that. But up with the pace is not is enough for me. And and kicking on with two out. And hopefully there's four places. I think it's got a cracking chance. John Quinn, Stable, they're in pretty much decent form at the moment. The next selection is quite an interesting selection. And it, it really does take quite a few blocks, uh, boxes. With how I actually pick selections, so certainly the um, the large price selection. So the third selection is Mavello at twenty two to one in the two o'clock at Haydock, paying four places instead of three. Well, Tom Marquin, he has been riding quite a few um, Irish owned horses. He went to um, don't quote me. It was either Longchamp or or Deauville. For, you know, I think he rode for Tabor. Um, well, this time he, he rides for McManus. So obviously, he seems to have impressed the Irish um, owners. So, this is actually trained by John Joe Neal, and it actually ran a much better race than um, than than it than, you, than it looks like it did. It finished fourth of I believe of seven. Um, I do believe this horse. Um, it has shown decent form in France. It generally is held up towards the back. I know I, I've just kind of contradicted myself about the Haydock, but I do think it is well handicapped. So I think even taking into consideration the possible favour of frontrunners, I think this horse can overcome its mark. And John Joe O'Neill doesn't have many flat runners, and I think the ones he does have, especially for J.P. McManus, are certainly interesting. 22 to 1 with four places, I think it's a decent bet. One of the more interesting horses is. Distant Light at 15 to 2 in the 220 at York, paying six places instead of four. Well, this is this is for the Queen, and it's trained by Andrew Bolden. Andrew Bolden trains quite a few winners at York. I do like the um, the form aspect. Uh, it's in half decent form. It does look like it's progressing, and I think this race will suit it. I do think it'll be fairly prominent throughout, and obviously kick on with a couple, two or three to go, or at least be pressing the lead with two or three to go. <clears throat> The fifth selection is Mr. Wilson at 4-1 to one in the 2.35 at Haydock, 
playing four players instead of three. Yes, once again, it's not really too much of an each way chance, but I do think it's between this one and the favourite. Mr. Wilson, it, it, it's shown rapid progress over its last like six or seven runs. It actually changed stables and it, it probably ran its best race for its, its current stable, which is Gavin Cromwell. Instead of just running it in Ireland again, it's actually brought it over here for this quite um, quite expensive race. And um, I watched it run last time, and it it led. A very well handicapped horse came to press it, went, went by it, but the horse really battled. And they pulled it, I think it was about far dents clear of the third horse. And it was a real good duel. And um, it wasn't like uh, Mr. Wilson was like weakening towards the finish. Both horses really kept on towards the finish, and I was quite impressed by it. So he does look quite a tenacious horse that obviously tries. And the final selection is another selection that I've, I picked recently due to its abundance of pace. Well, I think once again, it can it can really point its toe and make horses go. The final selection is Night on Earth at 7-1 to one in the 255 at York, paying five places instead of three. A relatively low draw for this horse. I really think this horse will get out and possibly make all. I certainly think it will make them all go like it did at Chester. As, as I told everybody at Chester, it was bottomless ground. It showed rapid pace. Basically, at, at its depth, at, it was in the highest class it had ever ran in. But as I said to subscribers then, I'm hoping that it, it, it made all the horses go on heavy ground at Chester and then there was a, f a few of them having... Um, the season on debuts. Hopefully, get them off the bridle and they wouldn't find anything. Well, it ran a good race to come fourth that day. And um, I really think this horse, on a straight track, can make them all go. So uh, that's my final selection at 7-1. to one. So the very best of luck. As I said, the bet is... A 10 pence each way, lucky 63. 50p win doubles. And 25 pence... Each way, there's, there's a doubles, but look, 50 pence win doubles. And 25 pence each way trebles. If the first couple run very well or win, it's going to be extremely interesting for the rest of the day. So if you can help me out after all that, please, I would love a like or a subscribe. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Share this video, put it on Twitter if you've got Twitter, share it on Facebook, yeah, whatever you want to do with it. I really pre appreciate you listening if you've listened this far, fingers crossed for Saturday. The, obviously there's no football bet because there's nothing really happening. There may be a football bet for Sunday because it's the last day of the Premiership, but we'll see about that. I'd like to, but there won't be any horse racing for Sunday. So, Charlie Winters, the very best of luck, over and out. Cheers mate.